Hello, I'm Paul Briley, and you're listening to Off the Comma. I'm a human who cares about supporting other humans. On this podcast, we explore all facets of what it means to feel stuck in life. We talk with people just like us who have found themselves sitting on a comma and not knowing where to go next. We will unpack the experience with them, where they've been stuck, what it feels like, what they experienced, and what they learned. My goal is to inspire you by seeing yourself in others. I believe that when we feel more connected and seen, magic can happen. If you find yourself sitting on a comma in your life, remember, you can also talk to me without a microphone. To explore coaching with me and getting off the comma in your own life, book a call with me at offthecomma.com. In the meantime, let's get into this week's conversation. Hey, everybody, this is going to be a little different episode uh, this week. It's a busy time of year. It's springtime and folks are busy. There's a lot going on. So I'm between guests this week, but no worry. There are plenty of other guests lined up. And so I thought I'd take advantage of the opportunity to do another one of my check-in episodes, kind of a, what I'm calling as reflections. And so it's an opportunity to really kind of stop and think a little bit about what's been going on with the podcast and some of the things I've been noticing and, and um, some of the things I've been learning and taking away. So let's, uh, let's jump into it. We'll keep it short this, this week as well. So, um, and in case you're noticing a difference in the sound, I'm doing this one while I'm uh, out and about and enjoying the weather, actually. So I'm actually outside and um, just thought I'd do this one really casual. So if we talk a little bit about the podcast in general, you know, I've been so excited because it's growing and it just continues to grow. And I've just been so humbled and honored by the folks who have been showing up and sharing their stories um, this year, you know, last year and this year in particular. And and um, just what an honor and a privilege it is to be able to sit and listen to these amazing stories. All of them have their own versions of inspiration and 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 just retelling of experiences and and what a gift this is for me, and I hope that you see it as a gift as well when you get to be um, kind of present with these folks sharing their stories. I did have a friend recently who I had invited to be a guest on the podcast, and they had not been um, listening to a lot of the episodes, just a lot going on in their lives, very busy, and uh, no shade for that. I wouldn't expect anybody to be listening to all the episodes, but um after listening to an episode or two um, and these specific episodes, they came back to me and said, so, you know, I'm looking at your podcast and it seems like this is a place where people come to really share their deepest secrets. And we, we both chuckled and, and then it turned into a whole conversation of me explaining the podcast and so forth. And I so appreciated the feedback because I could see how that would be the perception of the podcast based on a couple of the episodes that they might have listened to. And so uh, as I was explaining to them, I said, you know, really the podcast is about people sharing their experiences with overcoming challenges in their lives. Like that's really it at its simplest, um, at, at its simplest level. Right. And so I said, you know, when you look back over the, the many guests that we've had, I said, there's so many different ways that people will approach this. I said, you know, it's really about overcoming challenges. It's about hope and inspiration. And every story is different. I said, some people do, in fact, show up and they have really big, deep, you know, intimate personal experiences to share. Actually, they're all personal. Let me just clarify. They're all very personal. But some people have very, very deep and intimate and, and you know, kind of heavy stories to share. Other folks, their stories aren't quite as heavy. They're very personal, very meaningful, but maybe the subject matter isn't quite as deep or isn't quite as emotional or isn't quite as heavy as other stories. But what I, what I so appreciate about this podcast is that Everyone comes at it from a different angle. Everyone's story is personal and meaningful and unique. And everyone can share whatever story that they like. If you look back at the many stories that have been shared, we've had people sharing everything from 
work experiences to relationship experiences to you know kind of personal identity and and meaning and purpose kind of experiences we've had folks share about projects that they're working on we've had folks share about their history we've had folks share about their religion or their their um uh, upbringing experiences and we've had people share about conflicts both external and internal um and just and so much more and you know the the collection of all of these stories really is just a small snapshot of the overall human experience and then each one of these individual stories is is a glimpse into the lives of that person and so what i found is that in telling the story there's so much that comes out of it you know some people show up and tell their stories because they want to inspire others they want others to see what it is that they experienced and then overcame um many people what i've discovered when they come to share their stories it's an unburdening it's a something i've been carrying or i haven't really talked about this with a lot of people or i've been holding this inside and i kind of need to get it out and so many different things that come up there um some people they feel like telling their stories is a way of helping other people you know who have experienced the same kind of struggle or situation or trauma um in in some cases for some people telling the story is a little bit of a stretch like ooh putting myself out there um i don't really do well with speaking publicly or you know kind of putting myself out there for um people to see and hear and so a lot of different people get different things out of the telling of the story but here's what i've noticed you know we're we're now oh gosh next month of may may 16 17 that's going to be a year since i recorded the first episode um here's some of the things that i've noticed that's consistent across all of these experiences one the telling of the story is important in and of itself like there's value in just telling the story and acknowledging someone else's presence and someone else's experience um two we do something here that we don't always get to experience and enjoy in real life which is holding space for the story itself so it's like i said earlier like telling the story has value and then we don't get a lot of time in our daily lives to actually just sit and listen to people tell stories about their experiences we often will sit and listen to people tell us things that we're supposed to do or give us advice or tell us how things work and 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 I'm not downplaying any of that maybe I do sometimes cuz sometimes it starts to feel oh, a little old um but we don't really make time uh, a lot of times to just hear people talk about themselves and their stories and their experiences so that's number 2 i think um you know this isn't something that we often get the luxury of in our everyday lives um three this is also something that i've noticed over the the last year of recording is that you know we really do get to see what listening is like you know i have strived to model that in the way that i show up for these podcasts um and obviously it's something that i do as a facilitator and as a coach but it strikes me more and more and more how important these listening skills are to all of us in in this world and in our lives and that we don't do enough of it we don't do it well and that the world could be a very different place if we actually slow down and take the time to listen um so that's three for the fourth thing that i think stands out is that um we show here on off the comma we show people what it's like to remove ourselves from other people's stories like obviously the whole point in sharing these stories is for you to be able to see yourself in them and and connect and and you know relate to those experiences but when someone is telling the story we're not interrupting 
and trying to add the and me too, or yeah, I once did, or yep, I can relate. It, we just let people share their story and we remove ourselves from it while it's being told. Obviously, we'll put ourselves in it as we're listening, right? Um, and, and to see how we can connect. Um, yeah. And I, I think the last thing that I would say is something that I've noticed kind of consistently across all of these stories is that um, we show what can happen when we actually slow down and allow other people to talk. And, and that the power in telling the story brings about things that come up while telling. I can't tell you how many guests have, have shared with me either in the recording or after we stopped recording that new things came up as they were talking about their, their experience. Um, I can think of a couple of guests right off the top of my mind who have shared specifically. It's like, Oh, I didn't think about that before. Or now that I'm telling the story, I remember this other thing or, Oh, something just really kind of revealed itself to me. So there's power in the telling of the story as well. And you know what, here's one more thing that I'll add to the list is that, you know, everything that I've shared about the value of these stories, the thing that's also true that I've noticed across all of these episodes is that not every story is for every person or for everyone, you know, um, not every story is meant for you, uh, or, or is meant for you or, or is going to land with you. Right. Um, I hear people all the time say, Oh, I really enjoyed this one person's episode, but I, I didn't quite get all the way through this other person's episode. It's like, that's great because that wasn't your story. So there's just this whole element of allowing it to happen and you will hear what you need to hear. And, and it just continues to reinforce the fact that like, we're not here to force any agendas. Like, you will connect with the stories that you're meant to connect with. And I love it. So there's one other thing that I'd, I'd love to share about the, these episodes and that I'm learning from the podcast. Um, and then I'll wrap this up. And that is this, this kind of theme that is emerging that as people tell, tell story after story after story, it's, it's kind of this hourglass analogy or a funnel metaphor that I'm noticing that comes up and that's it partly based on how the five questions are structured. And um, a lot of it also has to do with kind of the, the style of storytelling, right? But that people start by kind of walking through their experience with being stuck or being challenged or sitting on the comma. And they kind of start to tell us all the things that were happening and the things that maybe weren't working or that they viewed or saw or experienced as bad. And that it's kind of like, you know, this, the funnel is narrowing and, and, and we, we can feel the tension. We can feel, you know, this buildup of the experience as it's growing for these folks. And, and it's kind of pushing them closer and closer or further and further into the narrow part of the funnel. And then as the story unfolds, we start to see many people describe this point of the tension growing and, and the, the, the unpleasantness or the, the stuckness or the, the, the pressure or whatever you want to call it. It changes story by story, but we feel them kind of being pushed further and further into the narrowest part of the funnel. And then, you know, as it becomes the most uncomfortable for people, something happens and it's it seems to show up in every story and it's a little different in each one but we see as people are going through the narrowest part of the funnel something happens something shifts there's some revelation there's some epiphany and then they push through and then they start to emerge on the other side of the funnel where it starts to open back up again or the other side of the hourglass. And so, and then people start to talk about what they've learned and, and how things are changing for them and, and, you know, what they're experiencing and, and, and just like this growth and development and evolution and so forth. And, um, 
and and that's just amazing. It's just amazing. It's amazing to see that happen in each of these stories. It's amazing to see what drives people into the funnel, what causes them the greatest discomfort when they're at the narrowest part of the funnel, and what causes them or or what they start to experience and what what how life changes for them after the shift at that narrow part of the funnel. And and it's just amazing to see. It's amazing to witness. And I am just so grateful to be able to be front row and center for the telling of these stories um, each and every time. And I hope you are too, because the whole point in doing this work is, you know, everything that I get to learn from it, uh, being a part of, you know, this podcast and, and creating the space for it um, or creating this container or whatever metaphor you want to use, right? Um it's just so powerful, right? And and to get to see this thread of um, our shared experience, our humanity through all of these stories is just amazing. So I'll leave you with this thought. And that is this, you know, I'm always looking for people to interview for this podcast. And in fact, you know, in my opinion, anyone can be a guest because we all have stories. We've all been through challenges. We all know what it's like to be stuck and and get unstuck. And so anybody's a guest. I love that. And yet you don't have to come on this show and be a guest to be able to do these things, right? My, my hope is that many people come on and share their stories and that this podcast grows and, and we continue to learn more and more from each other as we do so. But my other hope is that this inspires you to have these conversations with people in your life. My hope is that you will ask people curious questions and that you will sit back and, and let them talk and let them share their story without, you know, self-referencing or inserting yourself. And and my hope is that you'll practice listening with people of all types in your world, um, home, social, work, whatever it may be. And my hope is that we will all start to have a greater sense of patience with each other, a greater sense of openness and and that we can all start to talk to each other and listen to each other in different ways than we have been um, and, and, and in ways that are way more resourceful and helpful and beneficial to each and every one of us. So that's what we're here to do. That's what I hope we're modeling and, and showing. And it's not just about modeling and showing, but it's also about hearing and featuring these amazing stories and these individuals. So look for more to come. Obviously, I'm also um, working on some some more things. Um, they're in the works. And, and I was about to start telling you about those, but I said I was going to keep it short. So I'm going to leave that alone. We'll talk about them on another episode. So in the meantime, continue enjoying the podcast. Please keep sharing um, and, and telling others about the podcast. Please keep sending folks my way um, who might be interested in being interviewed and being a guest on the podcast and keep listening, keep being curious and keep learning. Um, that's what we're all here to do. And I know you have amazing experiences ahead of you and plenty to share with yourself and with others. Have a great rest of your week and we'll see you on the next episode. Oh, I almost forgot. Ah, I would have broken tradition. So in keeping with our tradition of doing acknowledgments um, at the end of every episode, I this week want to give a special acknowledgement to an organization that's very near and dear to my heart. And that is New Jersey, New Jersey Orators. And I have been on the board. This is my sixth year volunteering on the board uh, for this organization. New Jersey Orators teaches the art of public speaking to school age youth in black and brown communities. And what I love about this organization is that it coaches and teaches young people how to deliver really amazing public speaking and oratorical skills. 
through their unique coaching model and how they teach all of the different visual, vocal, and verbal elements of public speaking, along with literacy skills, civic engagement, appreciation of and understanding of literature from the African diaspora. This organization just does amazing things, and they have been doing so for just under 40 years. This is, this is our 39th year, um, still run by one of the original founding members and current president, Eloise Samuels. Shout out to Eloise. And particular shout out to all of the amazing coaches who are volunteers, the board members who are volunteers. It is an all volunteer organization. It's a nonprofit based in New Jersey. I'm going to put the information in the show notes. And I definitely encourage all of you to check out this organization and um, consider donating. We are a small organization, as I said, all volunteer and grassroots um, for 39 years and just does amazing work and we can always use more resources. So consider donating and or volunteering. If you're in New Jersey, particular North, particularly Northern and central New Jersey, um, consider volunteering. We've got lots of opportunities, but um, it's a great organization. It, it makes an amazing impact on young people. And I see young people graduate from school and from the orators with impressive resumes and able to command a crowd and an audience um, equally as impressively and sometimes more so than many um, corporate CEOs and executive officers that I know. No shade to those of you that I know. But anyway, um, very obviously, as you can tell, very pleased to um, acknowledge New Jersey orators and um, check them out anyway. And once again, have a great week and thanks for listening. I invite you to think about what you learned from this conversation. What stood out for you? What challenged you? What inspired you? And I encourage you to write it down in some form of journaling and reflection. It can be magical to set aside your expectations and just let the thoughts flow out of your head and onto paper and surprises can reveal themselves to you. And if you do discover something you'd like to unpack further, book a call with me and let's talk about it. My links are in the show notes. Meanwhile, be sure to like this episode and follow the podcast here on this platform. Also, follow me on social media at Off The Comma. Interact with the posts, share what you learned from each episode, or just share your thoughts about the topic in general. And check out my website for workshops, events, and updates. If you were moved by today's conversation, pass it along to someone you care about. Thank you for listening to this episode of Off The Comma. As always, keep noticing and keep listening. Keep listening.